the Founders Award. Hello, everyone. My name is Lady Gaga. It is my great honor tonight to be here to present the International Emmy Founders Award to Nigel Lithgow. The International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences presents this award to the rare person who crosses cultural boundaries to touch our common humanity. I would like to say on a personal level, working with Nigel, he has been my favorite of all the executive producers I have worked with. He always has helped to nurture and foster my ideas, no matter how crazy or demographic unfriendly they may have been. He always spoke poetically about the pursuit of widening the boundaries of love and acceptance in TV. He's credited for, of course you all know, pop idol, American idol, So You Think You Can Dance, Superstars of Dance, Carrie Underwood's All Holiday Special, Next Superstar, and many other shows. I am very honored to be here tonight, and I have shared many laughs with him on the side of the stage in my rehearsal outfits, saying, can you believe America will have to watch this? Can you believe what we will do to all of middle America at 8.15? And he always says, yes, Gaga, and I'm so excited. He has not only given so much to TV, but $140 million dollars and more in charity. Congratulations to Nigel for winning the International Emmy Founders Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigel Lithgow. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, wow. I can't believe how nervous I've been sitting there waiting for this moment, and I know I've won it. And I'm still nervous. Thank you so much to Bruce Paisner and the Academy for honoring me this evening. And for it to be presented by Lady Gaga uh, is just astounding. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we always have fun and, and figure out on Idol if if this, today's stars could ever make it on American Idol, and I assure you, without any question of doubt, Gaga would. Back in the day, when we first did it, she certainly, for my money, is probably the most creatively talented woman in the world of show business right now. So I am I'm so grateful. And we had certainly a panel of, oh, and that's why I love her. Um, <laughs> Took me hours to put that tattoo on her thigh. Um, we certainly had a panel of judges in those days on uh, American Idol. You know, three judges now that will never ever be forgotten: Paula Abdul, Randy Jackson, and uh, uh, poor old Rick Perry. Wasn't that embarrassing? Wow. This is this is a unique occasion. Uh, and, and not only is it a great honor, but it's the first time anyone's ever heard the words Emmy and the winner is Nigel Lithgow in the same sentence. So I'm very grateful, having been nominated eight times now with uh, American Idol and So You Think You Can Dance, um, I can't tell you how much this award means to me, uh, and I'll probably have more information when I see the pawnbroker tomorrow. <laughs> no. I told Laurie that joke wouldn't work. Anyway, with this award, I find myself in the illustrious company of Al Gore, Sir David Frost, Steven Spielberg, and Simon Cowell. That is a vice president, an, a knight of the realm, an honorary knight of the realm, 
and God. <laughs> we really do have a night of the realm with us this evening. Sir Cliff Richard, one of our greatest pop singers of all time, is with us tonight. I'm really grateful for that. Thank you, Sir Cliff. Fabulous. I was one of his dancers, I became his choreographer, and then his producer. So uh, I'm really grateful that you came all the way from the UK. Simon Cowell, unfortunately, can't be with us tonight due to injuries from self-inflicted love bites. <laughs> only kidding, only kidding. I now call Simon Lord Voldemort because, you know, he is, his name must not be, you know, his, he must not be named because every time I name him, the press say that we're enemies and we're fighting each other. Uh, and, and that's not true at all. Simon has no enemies whatsoever in the world. He just has a lot of friends who hate him. <laughs> there are numerous people I, I must thank, and I'd like to start with my family, my ex-wife Bonnie and my two sons who are here tonight, Simon and Chris. Thank you so much for putting up with a dad who was completely work-obsessed when you were growing up. And I only managed, I know, I only managed to take you to Disney World when you were 19 and 23, <laughs> respectively. Thank you for coming today. Chris came from LA where he's doing a couple of stage shows. Simon came from Austin, Texas where he's doing a new series of Superstar. I'm very, very proud of both of your work and even prouder of the fact that you've managed to take your kids to Disneyland already. Uh, I've worked with some of the best entertainment producers and directors in the world, John Scofield, Stuart Morris, Dougie Squires, Jim Henson, David Bell, and John K. Cooper, all of whom I want to thank for inspiring me with their talent and for giving me the breaks to employ my own talent. I'd like to thank all of my friends who've taken two tables there, have made the journey here tonight from LA and UK. I'm most grateful for you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules, and forgive me, please, for not mentioning you individually. Thanks to my production teams on Idol and So You Think You Can Dance, particularly Patrick, uh, James, um, Charlie, and Megan. Um, uh, without their hard work, I would not be standing here, I know that. I'd like to thank all of the Fox presidents that have been with us, Gail Berman, Peter Liguri, Peter Rice, Judges Randy, Paula, Simon, Stephen Tyler, Jennifer Lopez, Mary Murphy, Adam Shankman, all the kids on So You Think You Can Dance. The executives, Alan Boyd and Cecile Frocataz from Free Fremantle Media, and my dear friend for nearly 50 years now and fellow executive producer, Ken Warwick. I would like to pick out a Fox executive who's in the room at this moment, reality guru, Mike Darnell. M Mike, will you stand up, please? <laughs> Mike, will you stand up, please? I know. People joke about Mike's height. There he is. People joke about Mike's height. He is, after all, one of the few people I know who's got a full-length photograph of himself in his passport. <laughs> now, he, he may be small in stature, but trust me, this man is enormous in talent. And his support on both American Idol and So You Think You Can Dance has been both productive and invaluable to me. Uh, and I really do want to thank you, Mike, and also Carolyn, for not just being your lovely wife, but your sounding board, your mentor, and everything that you need in your life. Uh, finally, I naturally have to thank a man who changed my life entirely some 11 years ago. Um, I, tonight, for some reason, have been given the title of creator of American Idol. That is absolutely not true. The creator of American Idol um, is a gentleman who came up to me 11 years ago and said, I've got this idea where we do a talent show and people telephone in and vote for people. And I naturally said, oh, that's a terrible idea. It'll never work. He then came up to me some uh, eight years ago and said, we've done, been very successful with American Idol. We should do this with dance. And I said, no one's interested in dance. It's never going to work. Thank God he changed my mind on both occasions. His name is Simon Fuller. Simon, thank you, thank you, thank you. Without your foresight, without your talent, 
I would not be here today without question, and I will thank you every day of my life. And as you know, I almost died twice in Los Angeles. I had a heart attack in 2003, lost the back of my heart. I had peritonitis, lost 15 foot of intestine, and, and I got divorced. And I, I, oh God, I miss my intestine. I want, <laughs> I'll leave it there, shall I? Thank you so much to you all for listening. Thank you so much for this. Gaga, I love you.